Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch Dave the Diver game on your Windows computer or if you are receiving these error message or if the game is crashing, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step when you launch the game, wait for a few minutes because when you launch the game, when you launch the game for the first time, it's taking few minutes to launch the game. So if the game is not launching, after you launch the game, just wait for a few minutes and then the game should launch. But still you're facing the problem, then restart your computer and then launch the game. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart, try launching the game. Now the next step is to update your game. So select the game. If there is any update, click on update. Let the update complete and then you can launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game files. Now to verify the game files, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now over here you can see the game.exe file. So you have to launch the game using the game.exe file. So make a right click then select properties. Go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. And then click on apply, click on ok. And then make a double click and try launching the game from the game installation folder. Now still you are facing the problem then try running the game in compatibility mode. Now for this make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then this time put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 first then click on apply, click on ok and then make a double click and launch the game. Still you are facing the problem then this time you select windows 7 and then click on apply, click on ok, make a double click and try launching the game. Still you are facing the problem, you can select properties once again and then this time select window, you can try all these three. So for many users selecting window vista service pack 2 has worked, for many users service pack 1 has worked, for many users only selecting window vista has worked. So you can try all these one by one and check if the game is launching or not. Still you are facing the problem in that case still the game is not launching in that case you can uncheck the, these boxes and follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on big defender mcafee so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then Go to update and security if you have Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. In Windows 11, in the, on the left hand side, you will find privacy and security option. Click on privacy and security in Windows 11. Windows 10, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down and then click on manage ransomware protection. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86, open the steam folder. Now open the steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. In my case the game is installed in different drive. So open the steam library, steam apps, common and then find the game folder, open the game folder, select this exe file, now click on open. Now once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on system and security, now click on windows defender firewall, now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall, now click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app, now click on browse, again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, now click on open and then click on add. Once the game is added, click on ok on the bottom and now launch the game. 
Now still you are facing the problem. Now the next step is to delete the save game files. Now before you delete the save game files, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress and you have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, delete the save game files. Now to delete the save game files, open file explorer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder and then open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data over here on the top, click on view and then put a check on the box which says hidden items. So once you put a check on the box which says hidden items, you should be able to see app data folder. Now in Windows 11, somewhere over here, you will find the view options. Click on view and then on the bottom, select show and then put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see app data folder. Open app data. Now open local low folder. Now open the Nexon folder. Now over here you can see Dave the driver folder. So you have to delete this Nexon folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. And once you delete the save game files, now launch the game. Now the next step is to try DX11 in launch option. So you can make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can try dash DX12 and then you can try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. And once you select your graphic card, make sure that you select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. Now click on start search. Now scroll down and the latest GeForce game ready driver right now is 538.98. So click on get download and then click on download now. Now, once the download is complete, run this exe file and then you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. After the installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to uninstall Citrix software. So if you have Citrix software installed in computer, many users are facing this problem, uh, facing the problem with the game when they have Citrix software. So if you can, you can uninstall it after you, once you're done playing the game, if you want to install, you can install it once again. Also disabling precision boost override in the BIOS fix the user for many for players. So you can try this. So if you have these options in BIOS, you can try to Disable it and then launch the game. If you don't have it, you can just skip this step. Also disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. So disconnect all the devices which you are not using. So if try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect all the additional USB adapter connected to the computer. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game. Select properties. Toggle off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game disable this also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running you can, you can disable overlay in discord if you have geforce experience then disable the overlay in geforce experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running you can close it if you have reva tuner running close it so close all the overclocking application also, if you have these services running in task manager, you can disable these services. You can end these services and then launch the game. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running. Rest close everything, including all your browsers. Now, next step is to perform. Also, if you have underwater your computer, remove the underwater and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab, 
and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check on this box and then click on disable all. In my case this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case this would be highlighted. So put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services then click on disable all. Then click on apply, click on ok. You will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save and then launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so increase the virtual memory for this type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings now click on the first settings and then go to the advanced tab and then click on change by default automatically manage paging file would be selected over here uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then put a check on custom size and then for me this is working initial size is 1.5 into total ram now check the total ram in your computer so you can open windows settings go to system and then go to about and then over here you can see the total ram in my case it's 8 gigabytes so it might be 16 in your case so in my case it's 8 gigabyte now you have to convert 8 gigabyte into megabyte for this you open calculator on your computer and in my case total RAM is 8 gigabyte we have to convert this to megabyte into 1021024 that is 8192 megabyte so total RAM as per 8 gigabyte in megabyte is 8192 for me so initial size is 1.5 into total RAM that is this is the total RAM into 1.5 that is 12288 and maximum size for me it's 3 into total RAM now total RAM is 8192 in megabyte into 3 so for me it's 24576 enter the numbers over here then click on set click on ok click on ok and then click on apply ok okay now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and then download x64 so you have to download both x86 and x64 file and then you have to run both the files so click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete and run the second file as well which is x86 so make sure both the files are installed So once the download is complete, uh, run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Make sure both the installation are complete. Once done, you will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version. This is very important. So go to windows update, windows settings and then click on update and security or windows update then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to update your system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then Find the latest BIOS update available and then download it, install it, 
and during the BIOS update, now before you update the BIOS, in case of laptop, make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Then update the system BIOS. Now during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. And after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to try launching the game in window mode and then lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now go to settings and then over here you can see graphics, under graphics. Now if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And over here you can see mode, under mode here you can see full window mode. You can select window mode over here and then click on OK. And then you can check the performance. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing works, you can make a right click over here, then click on manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the crashing issue and you should not receive these errors. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.